Hey everyone, welcome back. So we got vCenter set up. We got our host added to vCenter. We got the host deployed, vCenter deployed. So everything's looking pretty good. So now our next step is going to be to actually deploy the NSXT manager appliance, which in this case, I'm gonna do it in my other vCenter. It doesn't really matter where you place this, just deploy it somewhere on top of VMware that you can get it deployed, uh, that you have the resources necessary to support it, uh, and that should be just fine. So here we go, 254.10. I'm gonna deploy this NSXT manager on top of it. To do that, I'm gonna right click on the host and go to deploy OVF template. I'm gonna select local file, because this is on my laptop. NSX Unified Appliance 3.0. That is the appliance that I want. So I'm gonna select that, hit open, and next. And for the name, I'm gonna give it the same name as that other one I just removed, because I like it to be pretty simple. So NSXT is good for me. Uh, next, I'm gonna leave it on that host as I mentioned. Hit next again. All right, so here it's gonna ask for some validation of everything we just did. So um, it, it's all pretty self-explanatory. So just review it, hit next, no big deal. For size, we're gonna go with small and I would recommend in your lab you do small in most cases. You definitely don't wanna do extra small. This is actually meant for what we call a cloud service manager. So it will let you deploy it, but don't do that. Uh, stick with small on the low end if you and you can tune it as needed But just don't go to the extra small uh, size and it actually warns you here. It says uh, it's only for the NSX cloud service manager role So don't do that small. We're gonna hit next I'm gonna thin provision it. I don't have a ton of storage. So that should be better for me next now this is gonna ask for the management network for NSXT Manager. So mine is VLAN 251. So I'm gonna select this one right here and hit next. And the IP settings will actually be on this page here along with the credentials. All right, so I'm gonna paste in my credentials. And this is for the uh, root user. This is for the actual admin account, which is the most important one, the one that we'll actually be using. Uh, and then finally, this is for the audit user, which is a read-only user account. So we're gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna leave the usernames the same. If you wanted to change the usernames, you could actually do that right here. I'm good with these. Uh, for host name, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go with NSXT. Role, I'm gonna leave at NSX Manager. For site name, this is technically for other use cases. One of them is being NSXT Federation. I'm not setting up Federation now, but I like to have something in here just to make sure the validation passes. For gateway, this is gonna be my management gateway uh, and my management IP, which I'm gonna go with, I believe it's 106, but let me double check that. All right, so I just paused the recording to verify my DNS settings. This is the right IP that I wanna use. And I'm gonna throw in my subnet mask here. For DNS settings, that is my DNS server, so I use that. And my search list is home.lab, which you don't need to use, uh, but I, I am. Uh, Time.google is my DN, uh, NTP server. I'm gonna enable SSH for this. I like to do that, especially when you're in the lab and you're learning, it helps to do it right now, so that later when we go to get in and do some verification, you can easily do that. Uh, that's all you have to input here. The rest is, you'll see it says for internal use only, so you don't have to mess with that. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna hit next and finish, and it will start the deployment of our manager. So I'm gonna pause the video and give it about 10 minutes. Uh, so it's gonna finish, and then I'm gonna power it on, and then give it another few minutes for all of the services to come online. All right, so the manager finished deploying the OVA, so now I'm just gonna power it on and give it a few minutes to start up. I'm gonna pause the video and let it get all the services online and all of that, because it can take a little while. The secret here is just be patient. If you go to the URL and you get some kind of error, or, the, or if you navigate to the IP address uh, and you get an error, just be patient, give it a couple more minutes. All right, everyone, so the manager's up and running, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Type in our admin account and our credentials. So what we're looking for is just make sure we don't get any errors or anything like that. If you do, as I mentioned before, typically that just means wait a few minutes longer. 
As you see, everything looks fine here. I'm gonna accept this at the bottom. And there we go. All right, so we're in the manager. Uh, so really at this point, we're ready to start with some of the actual NSXT management config. So in our next video, we're gonna take a look at transport nodes and uplink profiles. And basically what that'll do is enable us to actually have our host actually enforcing things like firewall rules and virtual networking at the host level. And to do that, we have to add the host and actually prep it with all of the NSXT components which will come as a VIB or a VMware installation bundle, uh, which will be pushed down to the host. So we'll do that in the next video. So until then, see you guys.